Hey YouTube, I'm Commander Tech, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about iOS 5. So as you guys may or may not know, iOS 5 is officially announced today, June 6th, 2011. So they announced it at WWDC, which is the World's Wide Developers Conference. If you don't know what that is, it is a conference that Apple hosts every year to help developers and to show off and brag about their new products and their abilities as well as their software and everything else. So there are over 200 new features in iOS 5. In this video, I'm going to go over a few of them with you. Okay, so let's get right into it. Right now I'm on the apple.com slash iOS slash iOS 5. Uh, this is just the overview page, um, so this is a little brief introduction here. Um, it says here, there is 200 new features. Uh, yes, there is. I've watched the keynote today. Um, so let's go into features. I'm not going to show you all the features once again, but I'm going to show you briefly. So here's the top nine features. Uh, notification center, iMessage, uh, newsstand, reminders, Twitter, camera, photos, Safari, and PC free, and then there is the more features. So let's go down to notification center. Uh, so this is the notification center. Uh, this is the overview part of it. So what you're looking at on the iPad screen and on the iPhone screen uh, to the right is the notification center all you have to do is swipe down on the status bar and that will show up as you can see on the right there is a little uh, few widgets there's a weather widget and a stocks widget uh, and then you have the notifications uh, these can come from reminders calendar mail uh, messaging whatever else if you look to the right uh, you can see uh, game was being played and the notification just appeared on the top it didn't just pop in the middle and you were forced to close to reply uh, this is something they addressed uh, this isn't something new uh, mobile notifier is a jailbreak tweet I have showed a video on this uh, link will be in the description below um, this looks exactly like it except for the uh, mobile uh, notification center and this is because that app uh, on Cydia was developed by uh, Peter Hagaraz. I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, Peter. Uh, but then he was told to, uh, he was offered a job at a Apple and he took the job. Uh, so that is what he's doing now. So as we go to lock screen, as we can see, uh, on the lock screen, you can also have the notification center. Uh, on the left, we see an iPhone where there's a voicemail and you can swipe to listen. Also, a text, a text a notification. Uh, same thing in the middle. Uh, if you want to respond to that, you can just swipe it and there you go. Uh, notification, there we go. So, here's just some more little examples of notifications. Let's go to iMessages. Sorry, iMessage. iMessage. Alright. So, uh, this looks like it's going to be a BBM killer. So, uh, what Apple has is a messaging app. Finally. Uh, so, this is something that iOS was missing. And iOS 5, they finally have it. So, uh, this is uh, text messaging on Wi-Fi or 3G from your iPad, iPhone, or iPod. Uh, so you can send text, photos, contacts, videos, the whole thing. Uh, you'll know when that person is typing. Uh, it'll pop up on the screen uh, and have the little dot 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 right here. As you can see, you can also know when the message was read. Um, also, there you go, there's a different view um, on the iPad and I 
iPhone and iPhone. Uh, so just going down to the next thing, newsstand. Uh, so this is kind of like the iBookstore, uh, slightly different. And the difference is the iBookstore will now just have books basically. And this will be all your subscription services in the newsstand. So this will be like magazines, newspapers, uh, basically anything that's subscription service, uh, you'll have that there in your newsstand app. Uh, also with the new update, you can have that it automatically downloads the, uh, let's say, newspaper. Say there's a daily newspaper that you're subscribed to. So in the morning, uh, it would be already downloaded for you just to pick up and start reading. Uh, not that waiting five seconds for it to download is going to take a while or anything, but that's a neat little feature. Um, so how would you shop for subscriptions? So it's going to be the same thing as the iTunes Store or the App Store. It's going to use the same URL, except it will redirect you to the iTunes app or uh, their own app. Um, it's going to be a built-in app to the newsstand app, pretty much exactly like the iBookstore. Um, the little newsstand uh, shelf will swivel, and you'll get this. Moving on again, reminders. So this is kind of like the app to do. Um, as you can see, there is a list. Uh, as you can see, you can check off the list. You can view by date and everything else. Pretty straightforward. Um, here's some other views, uh, starting from the left, going to the right. Uh, we have make a list, as I just went over, and we have set locations. Now this is kind of cool. So this is the lo location reminder. So you can have it that uh, when you arrive at, let's say, work, or when you leave work, this will notify you. So say uh, you leave work. And then you get a notification reminding you to pick up the dry cleaning. So that's what that is for. Kind of neat. Pretty cool. And now we get to Twitter. Twitter is going to have a pretty big integration in iOS 5. Uh, so you're going to be able to tweet from anywhere. Practically. So you have to start. You just have to sign in once on your iPhone or iPad or iOS device and then from there on you can uh, tweet from a quite a few amount of apps um, let's just go through looking at the photo app so say you're looking at a photo here you are and then you click the more options then you have all the options listed right in front of you you now have a new option it is called tap tweet right there tweet and then you can tweet the photo so the photo will be automatically attached you'll have the option of adding location writing whatever you like um, I don't know how hashtags are gonna be integrated in this or if it will I don't think it will be it's not that full of a feature but you will be able to put a hashtag it just won't be able to search up the hashtag uh, let's look at the app integration so tweets from Safari, same concept, same with YouTube, uh, same with Maps. So they will add or attach the web browser URL or the link on YouTube. And it will automatically put the app's location. So in the last picture here, it automatically did Golden Gate Park and it attached a map. You can always change the text on your tweet and everything like that. Um, let's move on quickly to camera. Alright, so it just killed another app called Camera Plus. So also before we get to that part, uh, let's look at the lock screen. There's going to be a button on the lock screen uh, that opens up the camera with one tap. So this is something very nice to see. If you see a picture moment and you have a password to unlock, you got to put in the passcode, then you got to go to your camera app, and then by the time you take the photo, your photo opportunity is gone. So with this, you'll be able to take the photo, and hopefully 
the moment will still be there. Also, shutter button. This is nothing new. I uh, did something on this. It, it is a jailbreak add-on slash tweet. Uh, the link will be in the description below once again. But this is something new uh, for the iOS operating system. Uh, so this is a great feature. Um, once again, uh, you'll just have to press the volume up button to take a photo. Hey YouTube, Commander Tech here. Hope you enjoyed the first part of the video. I had to split it up into two parts. You just watched the first part. The second one is yet to come and there are tons of new iOS 5 features in the second video. So make sure you click that annotation right in the middle of the screen there and you'll be sent to the second video. Did you click it yet? Click it. Right there. Right in the middle there. Come on. Click it. Alright guys. I'll see you in the second part.